In Zimbabwe, everyone's singing and dancing to Dem Loot, an anti-corruption song with lyrics not by a pop star, but a journalist. Hopewell Chinono has been imprisoned three times in six months on charges such as communicating falsehoods. He's now on bail. I was being politically persecuted and the persecution continued simply because I'm exposing corruption in Zimbabwe. So when I came out of prison this time around last Friday, I decided that I needed to find something to engage with the youths because there seems to be an elite discussion taking place about how corruption is destroyed Zimbabwe. Every day, more Zimbabweans come up with new versions of Demloot. Demloot. we got a lot of ganja right behind us. Some more professional than others. No food, no water, Demloot, Demloot, Demloot. Zimbabwean hospitals were already short of basic drugs. Now they're short of PPE. The health minister was sacked last year after Chinono exposed a scandal involving a fake PPE company. They don't have sufficient PPE in all our public hospitals. Um, some of the nurses are actually going to, to, to work wrapped around in blankets to, in order to avoid getting infected with COVID-19. Not everyone likes the song. What do you think of the song? Dem loot. It's a very boring song. But um, of course, um, maybe the song has gone viral. But the point is, you can hype up anything. And um, how does it connect with the reality on the ground? Are people being arrested for corruption in Zimbabwe? Yes. Is there corruption in Zimbabwe? Yes. Is something being done about corruption in Zimbabwe? Absolutely. Several government ministers have died of COVID-19. Normally, they'd go abroad for treatment, but now they have no choice but to experience Zimbabwe's healthcare system. After the death of the foreign minister, this week, President Mnangagwa appointed Frederick Shava, a former minister, who was convicted in a corruption scandal back in the 1980s. What message does it send that he is now it, your prime minister? It, it, it sends a message that even if you um, fall, you are allowed to rise because the offence happened in the 80s and the man rehabilitated himself and he became a, 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 a model citizen. They loot, they steal from the no wonder the song has caught on, although it's never played on national radio or TV, which are loyal to the ruling party, ZANU-PF. All the radio stations in Zimbabwe are owned by the state or surrogates of the state. In fact, one of the radio stations is owned by a member of parliament for ZANU-PF. So it hasn't been played, but uh, we've been able to uh, put it on, 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 on Twitter, put it on Facebook, and it's been played by radio stations and TV stations in the region, in Zambia, in Botswana, in uh, South Africa, in Namibia. Them loot, them loot, them loot, them loot, them loot, them loot. So now, there's a version of Dem Loot for pretty much any musical, if not political, taste.